Howl World broke the internet. Xbox goes digital. And Suicide Squad spoiled itself. More like it. Suicide. Anyways, let's get let's into the hot news and gaming, everybody. It's uh, it's fun. it's Tuesday, January thirtieth, twenty twenty four. Why is that so funny to you? I don't know. But if you lived under a rock for the past week, which I didn't, but I was on vacation, so I actually only kind of knew what was going internet on. Internet wise, you kind of did. Oh yeah, I was yeah. not really on the you internet. Unplugged. Pow World, that Pokemon with guns game. Why is that in the script? Digimon <coughs> has taken the world by storm. Since releasing into early access on January 19th, the game has sold over 8 million copies, mm -hmm. broke the second all-time concurrent player score on Steam, and completely dominated Twitch. Yeah, it's like bigger than Elden Ring. That's wild. Players have said that Power World is one of the most fun they've played in a Pokemon-like game in years. Is this like Souls-like? Is this Soulsborne type? I would That's be okay with that. Pokemon-like becoming a thing. Just, J Just JRPG, but not. Piss off Nintendo, yeah. Some even poked fun at the Pokemon developer Game Freak and Nintendo, claiming that Power World does more to push the genre forward than they've done in recent years. Even developers like No Man's Sky Hello Games got in on the fun. But not all the attention on the game has been positive. Pocket Monster fans, is that what we call it? That's the that... official uh, legal government name. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we were using <laughs> Ash's government name. Pocket Monster fans decided to don their detective caps to find anything discrediting the game's legitimacy and success. Numerous threads on Twitter showed how similar some of the PAL designs in the game are to existing Pokimane. Yep, but the, the meshes are different. They are? The meshes are different. It's They didn't steal, right? They didn't steal. It's like an AI amalgamation, but it was a human brain, not a computer They're pretty brain. close. Okay. They're pretty close. These threads claim that developer Pocket Pair ripped off the designs of Pokemon, with some even saying they stole the assets from past Pokemon games to create the PALs and PAL world. Others suggested, without evidence, that the game uses AI assets. Given the game's announcement in 2021 before the AI upsurge in 2022, it's not likely that is the case. I feel it's like- It's possible. Though. I think they may have have used AI to inspire designs. That makes sense. And there's only so many ways you can make little cuddly sheep monster that you catch. <laughs> All right, well, regardless, there is much expectation that Power World may be short-lived as it could face the full wrath of Nintendo and its legal team, which like we don't Bowser trifle guy. with here. That's the president. Nintendo did make a statement that it's looking into the game to see if there's any credence to the claims made by fans online. But even with Nintendo investigating, the game has been publicly known since 2021. If there were anything that Nintendo had a problem with leading up to the release of Power World, we'd likely have already heard about it. But maybe they were waiting to see how much money they were making. They made a lot of money. They made a lot of money. Gives better reason to sue. None of this is to say Nintendo doesn't care as they already came for the person behind a mod that replaced PALs with Pokemon. Pokemon just days after it went live. Did you download that one? Did you get I one? have the Game Pass version, so I cannot download mods. Oh, that's fine. Pocket Pal CEO said in a recent interview that the game's development was anything but traditional. According to him, the studio started with four people, the game had a budget of $7 million, and they contracted a high schooler part-time to develop their assets after meeting them at the check counter of a convenience store. That's how you found me. That is, but also that's how you get AI assets. <laughs> the kid says, oh yeah, I can do that. And it's they just, just a smart high school. Yeah, GPTs it. Whether or not this embellishes the truth is yet to be seen. Kind of like billionaires telling their rags to riches stories. Mm -hmm. I got a small loan of a million bucks. Yeah. But it would certainly be one of the best success stories ever in game development. More content for Power World is already planned as the developers have a roadmap with PVP, raid bosses, and crossplay as some of what to expect in future updates. I am excited. I want to play more. I'm gonna go home and play more. Really? But did you know that Pocket Pair also has a new game in development? Po I thought it was Pocket Pal. They have a new game in development that they hope will make lightning strike twice. I don't know. I think they used up all their good faith. Instead of taking notes from Pokemon, this one draws heavy inspiration from Hollow Knight for aesthetics in Super Mario Odyssey's hat possession mechanic for gameplay. Nevergrave, the Witch and the Curse, has you and up to three other friends diving into dungeons and facing off against enemies and bosses. The twist is that you also have a base to build when you go topside. You and your friends can expand this base like in Terraria or- The Minecraft knockoff. Yeah, the Minecraft knockoff. And tasks can be completed faster by using possessed enemies from the dungeons kind of like slavery. <laughs> yes. While this game is only now popping up on people's radars, an announcement trailer came out in early 2023 and a demo is already available. Kind of feels to me like this might be a Fortnite save the world type deal if they keep up Pal World support. 
this just isn't gonna be a thing. Yeah, I also, like, people are starved for good Pokemon games, mm -hmm. right? Like, Nintendo has not been treating that properly. Hollow Knight is a beloved game. Isn't it made yeah. by an indie dev? Yeah. Right? Like, it doesn't feel the same at all. If you're just kind of, yeah. you're going for a different audience here. It's also set to release in early access sometime in March. Seeing as the trailer's been out for eight months at the time of recording. And That's Rocket less than a pregnancy. Sorry, you made things unviable, I had to add in. And Pocket Pair now has a nice influx of cash. <laughs> this game might have the potential to get yet another hit for the studio. That inflection was not in the script, but what is a hit and in the script? Two Xbox Game Studios are the 1,900 people that were laid off last week. The labor cuts come not from funny. Microsoft's gaming divisions. Well, see, the thing is that it's, it's I'm roasting them, right? Like I'm making it see, cause it's a hit to them. You're roasting the people or the uh, company? Microsoft. The people? Brett's roasting the people. I'm not into cannibalism. The labor cuts came from Microsoft's gaming divisions, meaning Xbox. After the company's recent acquisition of Activision Blizzard just a few months ago, developers took to Twitter to voice their frustrations and shock, as many were in active projects before cuts were made. One of these projects was not Dragon Scale, including an unannounced survival game from Blizzard that was reportedly in development for six years. Was it a mobile game? Probably. Don't you have phones? <laughs> That game is now canceled and everyone working on it is no longer with the company. The bad news doesn't end there though, as rumors now suggest that the teams tasked with developing physical version of Xbox games were all let go along with the recent layoffs. We were made aware of Microsoft's plans to make an online only refresh of the Xbox Series X after the massive leak last year during the court proceedings. But if these reports are accurate, you won't be buying a physical game disc for your Xbox very soon. Microsoft could be following the trend of digital only as stores like Best Buy begin removing physical media from their stores. We'll have to wait for for more information about this story once it's available. I don't buy physical media. I don't either. It on it like I get why people want it and want to preserve it. I don't want it for myself. If I find an old piece of physical media that I find interesting, I will I will I will yoink that up and keep it on a shelf. How do you get old physical media if not new one being made? Conundrum. Only buy old. Only buy Pre-2010, always old, never new. But what is available for a limited time are these deals I got. You're not Reese. Starting with Steam, we got the games in Sweden sale that discounts games like Verizon, Hotline Miami, The Sant, and more for less than $20. Steam has another with the Sonic franchise where you can get Sonic Origins Plus, Sonic Superstars, or Sonic Frontiers for less than 30 bones. Have you played Frontiers? I have not. That feels like a game that would be up your alley. It does, doesn't it? Our last Steam deal is the Callisto Protocol, which you can pick up for $18 instead of its usual 60 if you want a bad game. <laughs> It's not. It's worth $18. <laughs> it's probably worth $18. Next up is Humble Bundle, which has discounts on many great games right now. For under 20 bucks, you can get games like Near Automata, Game of the Yo ha Your ha Callisto Protocol, Call to the Lamb, Outer Wilds, and the recently released Cocoon. <laughs> For under $10, you can grab games like Control, the Batman Arkham Trilogy, Doom Eternal Deluxe Edition, Deep Rock Galactic, and the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. For 10 bucks or less? 10 that's, bones. That's pretty good for those games. Our last two deals come from the Epic Game Store, where you can grab the annual pass for Destiny 2's Lightfall expansion We're for $33 instead of $100. <laughs> this is the last major content expansion before the final shape launches this summer. So if your name it. is Reese, you may want to get this. The second deal from EGS is for the noir visual novel Chicken Police. Paint it red for 10 bones again. Your rooster cop who gets to meet a capybara captain. I like this game. What more would you want? You'll only have until 11 a.m. Monday for these last two deals, so you better act fast. Where the heck is Brett? I'm here. Those were some good deals. I listened to all of them. But what's also a good deal is that Sony is finally bringing back the state of play. Why are you t I don't know. This Wednesday at 5 p.m. or tomorrow evening, Sony will be showing off over 15 games for 40 minutes. Is that 5 p.m. Eastern? Not everybody lives in the same time zone. Like the spice? Yeah, we gotta disclose time zones here. We know that Stellar Blade and Rise of the Ronin are expected to be shown, and rumors are suggested that the multiplayer shooter Concord will finally show some gameplay. There's also a good chance we'll see some surprises as Sony has many projects from its first party studios waiting to be unveiled. If you want an idea of what to expect, users over at the Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit seem to have a list of potential games that we could see. They're probably also gonna really show off Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. 
There's probably gonna be like five minutes of it, if I had to guess. But we'll review all of the big news on Friday in the next episode of Hot News Gaming. What about the hot olds gaming? You're just gonna destroy your branding like that? Just if you were waiting to hear that Square Enix had intentions of making a Final Fantasy VI remake after the massive success of the Final Fantasy VII I'm not. remake. I want Final Fantasy VIII remade. I want- It deserves love too. Where's my squall? I want new Final Fantasy XV remake. Ooh, and like the PS5 engine? Mm -hmm. Well, I have some good and bad news for you. The good news is that the director of the original game would love to do it. The bad news is that he says it would take 20 years before it came out. I don't know why. He just says that. <laughs> I'm just joking. His reasoning stems from the work done to retell, improve, and innovate upon the original Final Fantasy VII, as the remake evolved the original story and characters into a trilogy-spanning saga. Kitase doesn't think completing a remake for Final Fantasy VI would be feasible until the remake trilogy is done. Series creator Horonobu Sakaguchi said that the original's 2D pixel art and format would prompt a total overhaul of the game to make it into a 3D adventure, which would make sense since it's a remake, not a remaster, but he and other developers at the game studio are eager for a Final Fantasy VI remake sooner than later. Maybe that enthusiasm helps get the trilogy done faster. I want Final Fantasy VIII and I don't care about VI. You don't care about what? I <laughs> oh man, I don't know, but enthusiasm won't bring back Neversoft's Call of Duty game. Leaks of a canceled Call of Duty game started popping up on Twitter, showing footage from both the single player campaign and multiplayer game modes. An ex-developer on the project confirmed that this game would have been Call of Duty Future Warfare and come from the Tony Hawk Pro Skate and underground developer Neversoft. Are you doing tech decks right now? Neversoft, who also made the Guitar Hero games, worked on this title after Infinity Ward imploded into Respawn Games. The project would have replaced Call of Duty Ghosts as a launch title for the Xbox One, introduced in escort-style missions similar to those in TF2, and introduced futuristic guns and warfare, well before Infinite Warfare was ever even conceptualized by its parents. So they wanted to make bad Overwatch? You mean Overwatch 2? Gotta many people commenting about this footage, I'll agree that it's closer to the OG COD experience than Ghost was. Ghost was good and I'll die on this hill. Was it? I it had I'm dog, not... that dog named Riley, Riley dog. Oh, like the guy from Linus? And it had a bunch of gas, like the guy from Linus. <laughs> Anyways, our last news of the day is about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which just released into early access for deluxe edition owners yesterday. Do, do we mean today? That's, yeah, or... well, no, it's today today, but today, tomorrow when it comes what out is is today? Yesterday but yesterday's tomorrow. That's correct. If you were one of those looking to jump into the game early, you may have noticed that you could not sign into the servers. That's because of a massive bug auto-completing the story for you upon booting the game up for the first time. Obviously, a bug like this would have caused innumerable headaches for Rocksteady, and the devs have already been through the ringer leading up to the launch. To prevent even more information from getting leaked ahead of the game's official release, Rocksteady took the servers down for maintenance until they resolved the issue. Leaks upon leaks about the game have come out over the past year, and on top of that, gamers were already upset that the game turned out to be yet another live service game filled with battle passes and microtransactions. <laughs> yummy, yummy, microtransaction. I, I like those as opposed to big meals. I want to spend money in drips and drabs, so I never know how much it actually is so, over total. Yeah, I'll spend $3 a hundred times, easy. Yeah, for sure, but 100. 300 bucks for a video game? No chance. Oh. Poorly received previews have also hurt any hype for the game, despite the developers doing everything in their power to try and salvage its reputation. It's At kind of a bummer, because this was the, the Batman voice actor's last gig before he passed. He died? Yes. I didn't play any of them. Oh, I played, man. I played Ar yeah. Arkham Asylum. Yeah, the voice actor, he reprised his role for mm. Suicide Squad game, and it's supposedly trash. As of writing, a hotfix is still being worked on, so if you're hoping to jump into Suicide Squad before this Friday, keep an eye on the game's Twitter page for updates. Comment response. Well, we're, that's where we're gonna keep our eyes right now. First up, we got Jimmy saying, one thing that might be a cool addition to the gaming news would be something like a beta alpha watch, maybe? I'd love to try closed and open betas of upcoming games, but oftentimes I do not hear about the beta until it's too late. I didn't hear about the recent Skull and Bones closed beta until it was too late to sign up. That was a bit of a bummer. I feel like we've done this. This is like Cam's comment where he's asked for the Humble Bundle deals, but like we've been doing it. There's just not news every day about it. It's just when it happens. You we gotta... just have to yell it louder. 
the, it's it's the alpha update, alpha alpha watch. I'm more of a Sigma guy myself. Yeah, well, we got Cameron. This is this is the comment I was referencing, saying, "Love the deals. Can you include humble bundle deals? They may not always be the best deals, but I like having a portion of my purchase going to charity." To which I responded, "Who's charity? Just I did not say that. Said just straight up didn't watch last episode because we did have a humble spicy. bundle deal. The, the, spicy. I'm a little I'm a little spicy. You're right. Mohawk Ninja says the massage gun makes Kyle sound like the robots in the Fallout games. Oh, please don't bring it back. You thought I didn't have it. I didn't know where it was. Uh, uh, I'm in the Fallout game. Baloney Justice Cheese Dog says, Boo! Boo! Kyler Boo! No reusing the same bit boo, twice in one week. Boo! Boo! Baloney Justice You didn't Cheese reuse dog. the same bit. I think he's talking about this he is, when you did that, but that wasn't is. twice in one week. That was two different channels. That was two different That's channels. That's a different but, Kyler. But it was twice. I did do it twice. I don't know, but RC dip. Villa Pando says, Dip Dip Potato Chip. Dip Dip Potato Chip. I don't think I should be doing this. Probably you have vocal cord problems already. I don't. It doesn't do it to my voice on this side. You press it hard enough? Uh. <coughs> 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 and we'll see you all next week for hot news gaming. Yeah, this is a weird fear. Yeah, it's only on the right side. Where are my vocal cords? Are they right there? Yeah, they are. Hello. You found them. Found them. It's a little higher up. That's the problem. Going it's not. Home. It's not about the sides. It's about where you're placing it. I'm going to sleep. He's widow. He's just weaving right now. He thinks he doesn't have a job to do. <laughs>